Well, first of all, there's a there's a to aspire a lot. To, <laughs> yes, there's one difference between what what happens now and what used to happen, and 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 I don't quite understand it, but it is uh, that um, when Dave and I were starting out, and 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 a lot of writers worked this way. I mean, it didn't do us a lot of good, but uh, when they want to get into the situation comedy business, they used to write a spec script for an existing show, just as we discussed before, and then and then the 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 producers of that show would never give you a job, but somebody else on another show might say, "Well, they're pretty good. Look at the great job they did on on you know on 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 the on the uh, Seinfeld episode or whatever." And so that was always the advice. The advice was find the episodes that uh, people are writing specs of. I mean, the series that people are writing spec episodes of, and do a really good job of writing one of those. Now, what they want is they want aspiring writers to write spec pilot scripts, a brand new idea that's never been done before. And somehow I think they're hoping at some level that that something will be so good that in addition to being a good writing sample, it will uh, actually sell and become a series. But what Dave said is absolutely true. Aspire a lot. You just have to write all the time. And in addition to uh, writing a uh, pilot, it's a practical solution, too, because today's shows are on and off so fast that if you sit down and write one yeah, about a show, a series you like, you know, three months later it could be gone and nobody saw it, nobody remembered it, so they don't know if you've captured the characters uh, at all. And but that's you know, really what they're looking for, how well you can capture the characters. It's all about, it's all, a, I, I think aspire a lot is, is, is in fact the answer. It's all about... Yeah. writing all the time. Because if you don't write all the time in some way or other, either something that's on the air or something new, if you're not constantly working hard to write, then when that inevitable break comes, like, like you know, Turtle Tob and Ornstein, who never read a sitcom that we'd written, but saying, you guys uh, should write one of these. Because we'd been working hard and we'd been trying to do the best we could at being good writers, when the time came, we had the opportunity to do something they might like. And if people don't do that, then I don't think uh, there's a chance. And I also think that the, that the, that the, the internet pr provides a lot of opportunities for people now to um, get involved with projects that are, um, you know, that may not have huge, huge audiences and people don't know that much about, but are a chance to show what you can do as a writer. And the greatest weapon I think you can have on your side is wanting to do it badly. Yeah, that's really, right. really having a passion for it because that will just keep you keep you uh, heading into all the through all the obstacles and all the setbacks. Yeah. 